The debate over flu vaccinations for children is heating up again after the first report of a child dying from the virus this season. The death in Florida was an unvaccinated child with no known underlying medical conditions. This comes as a new national survey shows some parents don't see the benefits of the flu vaccine. It found more than half believe that their children can actually contract the flu from the vaccine. And a third believe the shot does not protect their kids from the flu at all. Even if the flu vaccine is not a perfect match for the strain, doctors say it decreases symptoms and severity. Of the 183 kids who died from the flu last season, 80 percent were unvaccinated vaccinated. The Trump administration released a proposal today that would require drug companies to include the prices for their products directly in their TV ads. Under the proposal, drug manufacturers would need to state the list price of a 30-day supply of any drug that is covered through Medicare or Medicaid and costs at least $35 a month. Patients deserve to know what a given drug could cost when they're being told about the benefits and risks it may have. They deserve to know if the drug company has pushed their prices to abusive levels. And they deserve to know this every single time they see a drug advertised for them on TV. The pharmaceutical industry opposes the proposal. It would be open for public comment for 60 days. Later in sports, North Dakota football earns a major win this weekend, but takes a big loss along the way. Beth has the details. Family members of two deceased 19-year-olds are questioning why it took rescue crews so long to find the women after they had called 911 asking for help. Closed captioning of this newscast is brought to you by your Northland Ford dealers. You're watching Valley News Live on KVLY, your hometown NBC station. There are two Heidi Height camps. One in North Dakota, the other siding with liberals in Washington. Washington Heidi supports sanctuary cities where illegal immigrants can be released on our streets, like this criminal who was let go and then sexually assaulted a child. The same Heidi who is funded by Washington liberals who want to abolish ICE, our agency that enforces immigration laws. She's the wrong Heidi for North Dakota. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Oh, those nasty water mishaps. They can cause costly damage to your floor. Problem solved with waterproof flooring from the Carpet Garage. Check out the latest innovations and hottest looks in flooring with fantastic styles and visuals for any room in your home. Built to resist mold and mildew, these floors are engineered to keep their integrity in wet conditions. And the best part? The Carpet Garage stocks the largest selection of waterproof flooring at the lowest price in town. Guaranteed. Waterproof flooring. In stock and unbeatably priced at the Carpet Garage. The future of medicine has arrived and is being practiced today at the Center for Pain Medicine. Regenerative injection therapy uses your stem cells and growth factors to repair damaged tissue, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and even bone. My knee was deteriorating and hurt every single day. One regenerative injection and I was pain-free, playing volleyball in 30 days. Call and make an appointment today, no referral needed. The temperature is dropping, and so are the prices at Coro and Honda. Drive a new 2018 Honda Civic zero down, two twenty nine a month, tax, title, license included. That's right, zero down, two twenty nine a month, tax, title, license included. Delivers your new Civic. Coro and Honda has forty Civics in stock, but at zero down, two twenty nine a month, they won't for long. Get reliability, safety, and amazing gas mileage for only two twenty nine a month. Coro and Honda, family driven for over one hundred years. Shop online, coroandauto.com. I'm Heidi Heitkamp, and I approve this message. Could you give yourself a $23,000 raise? Ask Kevin Kramer. On the Public Service Commission, he raised his pay to over $93,000 a year. Kramer took over $43,000 from the energy industry and voted 17 times to raise our utility rates. Then he paid his wife $150,000 in campaign money. Who comes first? Special interests and himself. Who comes last? Us. Tonight, Fallon tries out her new look. What are you doing? Plus Taraji P. Henson. And, uh, you know. and pop sensation BTS with a performance and a Fortnite dance challenge. Tonight. It's a tragic mystery at this point. Two women driving in Chaska, Minnesota early Saturday morning called 911 begging for help 
According to their family, and then hours later, a car and two bodies were found in a pond. Chaska police say the bodies were the two young women reported missing. Now friends and family members are asking if a call was made to 911 asking for help, why did it take so long to find them? With smartphones today, you can see an Uber driver pull right up next to you. The phone will remember where you parked at a store parking lot or give you driving directions down to the feet of your location. I'm in a car in a lake. Where? But when it comes to 911 calls, mobile phones can miss the mark at the worst times. A classic case, a Georgia woman calls 911 as her car goes into a lake. But 911 dispatch cannot locate her. <laughs> Another famous case, the 911 call from Prince's house the night he died. The dispatcher tells the caller, okay, your cell phone's not going to tell me where you're at, so I need you to find me an address. Flash to Saturday, about 3 a.m. Family says phone records show 19-year-olds Bushra Abdi and Zainab Hapsa Abdallah called 911 for help. We have recovered the car that we believe was driven by the two females. According to Chaska Police Chief Scott Knight, the car wasn't found in a pond until 5.30 p.m. the next day some 38 hours after the alleged 911 call. According to the National Emergency Number System, an estimated 80% 911 calls are from wireless devices. You'd suspect that means help knows exactly where you are, but the technology hasn't caught up yet. According to Hennepin County Sheriff Rich Stanick, if a cell phone calls 911, dispatch at best gets a longitude and latitude coordinates of your approximate location. But with a weak signal, dispatchers might not even get that. According to the Minnesota Department of Public Safety, technology exists to vastly improve 911 call locations. Last December, the state rolled out the ability to text 911. The medical examiner's office says both women drowned. According to the Department of Public Safety, it will not be until 2021 that Minnesota will upgrade the 911 system in every county. Bison back home this weekend. Yeah, they certainly are. I know fans are eager, the Bison are eager to get back to work as well. One particular area of their game has been leading to a great deal of success. We're going to break that down. Coming up next.